The following workflow generates a weekly report. Using look-ahead filters and 3D sets, critical path filters, save layouts, viewpoints, cutting planes, and the animation editor. The weekly report includes a title block, a two-week look-ahead Gantt chart, a timeline, a resource legend, a two-week look-ahead set, a critical path 3D set, and a section plane elevation, and a title block with the focus time, and an image. The first step is to create a title block in CAD or Revit. In this example, we're using an 11 by 17 at 300 DPI, which is an image size of 3300 by 5100. Here's the model that we are going to be working with. Here you see the model with no filter, set, no filter and no 3D set. The first filter we'll be working with is the two week look ahead. It's a look ahead filter with a 14 day duration set to the focus time. You can also set the 3D set to the same as task filter. You can filter unassigned to show the site context if it's an unassigned resource. As you move through the focus time, you can notice that both the tasks and the 3D resources are filtered as the focus time is moved forward and backwards in time. The next filter is a critical path filter. Right click to filters and say filter by critical path. This is the default critical path filter. As you move through the focus time, the critical path items are shown in purple. A custom critical path filter can be created by first creating a filter by schedule by filtering the task by critical and then selecting all the visible tasks and then selecting the assigned resources and then creating a filter based on the selected items and calling that 3D filter or 3D set critical path. Now you have both a filter for critical path and you have a 3D set for critical path. You could then adjust the 3D set to for custom colors. In this case, the critical items will be changed to red, and the uncritical items are going to be changed to green with a slight transparency. Here's the critical path filter as you move through the focus time. It's important to note that you also must compute the critical path for this filter to work correctly. For the third view in the report, we're going to use a cutting plane. Select cutting plane, right click, add new, and name your, critical, name your cutting plane. In this case, we're gonna have a cutting plane for the interior. You can adjust the cutting plane by changing the vector as desired. You can also use the arrows to slide the cutting plane along its direction. Synchro has the ability to save layouts. Layouts are useful if you change your layout and you wanna move back to it to have a saved layout for generating the report. In this case, click on the layout view and set it to two. Then adjust your layout as desired. Here we will add three additional, we will have three 3D windows and we will adjust them so that they are side by side. The viewpoint will also save how your other property panels and navigation panels are laid out so you can create a customizable view. Now we'll, we will set up the three views. First, select the cutting plane interior that we set up earlier and make sure the right window is selected. We're gonna adjust the projection by going to options, right clicking, find, and then searching for field of view. We are gonna set it to more of an isometric projection by changing the field of view to a smaller number, in this case one. Now the right view doesn't have such a deep perspective. You can save this viewpoint by going to viewpoints and adding a new viewpoint. In this case, viewpoint for the cutting plane. The middle window will be used to show the 3D set for the critical path. 
select the window and set the 3D set to critical path. Then you can save the viewpoint for later reference, save it as viewpoint critical path. The window on the left will be used to show the two week look ahead task filter. So set the filter to two week look ahead and then set the 3D set to fill same as task filter. This viewpoint can also be saved for later. Here's the final view with all three of the windows showing the three different 3D sets. Next, it's time to create the weekly report. Open up the animation editor and create a new animation called weekly report. When the animation editor is open, right click and do generate timeline. Set the start keyframe to zero and the step to one. Then select it for every week, starting at one, and you can set the day that you would like. This will generate a weekly keyframe at every second. Next, it's time to open up the options and change the font size to 56 point. You may need to adjust it for the type of report that you're going to export. Then go ahead and right click and do export AVI. Go ahead and set the width to 5100 by 3300 and the frame rate to one. This will vary depending on your actual export size of your report. Export the image as a sequence, choose your location and save your file accordingly. Here I've saved it, weekly report. Next, it's time to set up your content, your rendering options, and your images. So you're going to go ahead and add the title block. So add new image and apply after you found your title block. Then you can go back to your content, move your title block to the bottom, and resize. This is the point where you can adjust where you want your Gantt chart, where you want your resource legend, where you're going to have your 3D windows, so adjust the 3D windows into the location that you'd like. You can also add text, textural frames if needed. Here I'm adding title, titles for each one of the 3D windows. Then go ahead and export and you will see after it's finished rendering that you will have one image for each week for your report.